Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mariah. And if you're new here, hey girl, what's up? And if you're returning, thank you. Whew, okay, you guys didn't hear that. Chris just yelled my name. We're about to go to the store right now because we are barbecuing today. So we have to buy some meat from, and get it from the store. Last minute, but I want to show you guys my outfit. I did my face today. I decided, you know, to be cute. Glasses, I did something different with my hair this time. Cute little shorts. I like it. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can today. Try to do better, so we'll see. Say hey, hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, I know where Oh, they're in the car. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the keys are in the car. Hey guys, it's the next morning. I'm super duper tired. Today is Monday. I think like August 28th or something. Like it's the end of the month. I will officially be posting my first YouTube video. <laughs> Not my first YouTube video. My first video in a while since I've been like away. On Friday the 1st of September. Yeah. So I'm excited to catch you guys up with my life. You know, and start making content again. I hope you guys missed me. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was fun. We were rushing to the store um because we had bought some meat and we were looking for like some oysters to make, which we found both eventually. It was just we were rushing and so, so much was going on. We had we only had a few people over. It's like a little intimate, friendly barbecue type of deal. It was cool though. Usually when people are over, I tr I try not to have a camera in their face. I really want to try to vlog more of my social life. <laughs> I mean, it's very, it's not really a big social life. I don't have much of a social life, but the part that I do have, I want to try to vlog more, but I always get caught up in the moment, you know? You know, like when you're just living in that moment and you don't really feel like courting it, you know? That's how kind of the mood that I'd be getting in sometimes, but it was fun. I'm really tired though. I need to clean the kitchen up. I had some ceviche yesterday, but it wasn't, it wasn't so good. It wasn't the Costco one either. It was like some one we found at a, um, like a taqueria. It was okay though. These are so good. I wish they were a little bit thicker though. Cause I'm used to the a thick, the thicker um, tostadas. These are really good though. I ate them with the ceviche and it was pretty good. I like how crunchy it is. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I just got done um, pumping milk. And I had pumped, well actually th this is almost three ounces. I had technically already, already technically had already had three ounces, but I gave Chris like two ounces cause Nehemiah woke back up while I was pumping. So technically I probably pumped five ounces. So that's pretty good, four or five ounces. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm noticing that. So like I was telling you guys, this is like kind of all that I have. There's nothing right here anymore, but I'm still feeling pretty confident about it because as we're using this one, I'm, I'm working on my second row right here in this compartment. So I'm trying to do, pretty, I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying you guys, I'm trying to catch back up. Cause I've been, you know, living the real life for way too long. And this is what I had pumped earlier last night. I should probably have enough to put it together. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I feel like I'm not feeding my son enough. Like he drinks plenty of milk, but he's very finicky and picky about food. So I kind of don't know what to do. <laughs> because I feel like he needs to eat more food, you know? This morning, I'm gonna make the cream of wheat for him and see if he likes it. I might do that now, actually, as I clean up the kitchen. I might make the cream of wheat. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try that out. I've been trying a lot of stuff. If he, Even if he does like it, he won't eat a lot of it. He wants his milk. I just feel like it's... Like, my milk isn't enough, like, because he's moving so much and he's trying to walk, using so much of his energy. I don't know if the milk is sustaining how much energy he's burning every day. I don't know, it's like whenever I see him in the bath, I feel like I can, like, see, like, his ribs down here. I don't know, I, I could be all up in my head, but I don't know, that's how I've been feeling lately. I don't know, I don't know what I should do, what I should feed him, because I really am trying not to feed him, like, horse formula, that's, not, that's out. I don't want to really use that powdered rice stuff and you mix it with water or whatever i don't want to do that i'm trying to feed him real food and my breast milk that's really what i'm trying to do and i don't really want to feed him baby like food i don't know i might have to because i don't know if it's enough that might be something he wants you know so and i don't and then i want to i want some ideas like if you guys have any good ideas on like what would be the best um like 
milk choice or alternative instead of breast milk because eventually once he gets a year depending on how much i have stashed like incorporate another milk like i've been telling to tell you guys like i've been trying to incorporate another milk alternative for him just in case like you know so i can make sure he's drinking enough or getting enough nutrition but i don't want him to have like whole milk i don't want to feed him a whole milk so i'm trying to figure out what else i should give him i was trying to i was thinking about oat milk but i know i definitely can't ha he can't have that until he's 12 months i already have oat milk so i have like three or four months to go before i can give that to him i'm thinking about like maybe soy um almond milk mm. i slept on my makeup though i slept on my makeup and i need to i need to take it off I really like this idea that I did with my little with two little pieces of hair in the front. I thought it was really cute. It just added something different. <laughs> All right, so that's about four ounces. I'm so shocked and proud of myself that I'm still feeding him my breast milk, though. I feel like that's such an accomplishment, even only at eight months. Like I feel very honored. <sighs> the only thing is, what was it? Um, I don't think, to be honest, you guys, I don't think, well, I've still been doing it a little bit, but mostly at night, but I don't think I'm going to breastfeed anymore. Like, I'm going to pump, of course, so he still gets my breast milk, but I can't do the, the breastfeeding anymore. I really can't. It hurts so bad. I get anxiety about it now because of how much he's bitten me. <laughs> like, I'm just fearing every time he, he drinks my milk, I'm just sitting there like clenching my hands together hoping that he doesn't bite me because when he bites me with those two little teeth it hurts so bad like so bad like how do women do this for years like straight up breastfeed for years like i thought i was gonna be able to do it but one time i wanted to cry y'all when he bit me i wanted to fucking cry i was tearing up like dude like i can't do this and it really messes with you mentally like i can't do it like, I'm scared <laughs> like, every time, and I feel bad, and then it fucks with me because, sorry, excuse my language, but it really messes with me because it's like, I want to feed him, I want to feed my baby, and he, like, grabs on my shirt and pulls on my shirt and wants, wants me to get, um, breastfeed him, but it's like, dang, I'd be, like, dreading it. The only time I'm, like, a little bit feeling, like, more confident about breastfeeding him is when he's kind of sleepy. <laughs> And then I give him the boob because he's more gentle when he's half asleep. When he's high on, like high strong and kind of excited, he'll bite me. <laughs> and I notice when he's excited, yeah, he'll bite me. So it's like, I can't even risk it during the day. That's another reason why my milk supply has diminished. But I'm actually proud of myself for pumping so much milk because I didn't realize how hard it was going to be towards the end for me to breastfeed him so it's like i kind of do need use my stash now because this is the moment when i need to use it because this is when i feel the most conflicted about breastfeeding and i feel like i have an option now i feel like because i would have felt so bad if i didn't have a stash i was just solely breastfeeding oh man i would have felt so bad because then i would have to put him on something else and i wouldn't ever want to do that in a way it's like a blessing to have this milk stash because in times like this he can still get the, the benefits of my breast milk but I don't have to be tortured and risk losing my areola. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm happy about that. So, in a way, I'm okay with the stash being smaller. But it's getting used, so it's okay. I don't know. It's like 6.30 in the morning and it's still cold outside. But I feel like going outside and putting my feet in the water. I don't know. I just feel kind of like... I just want to like... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just tired. I woke up so many times last night. And then it didn't help that I was hanging out and staying up, <laughs> so I'm extra tired. The flowers are finally finished blooming, so I'm gonna probably get rid of them and throw it away. Because I'm pretty sure the water's nasty now. I know it is. So is this one. This one's pretty much done. Oh, and these were the sugar cookies I was telling you guys about. Me and Chris kind of ate most of them. But you guys, they were really good. Like, they were really good. All right, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I need to clean up, but I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm really thinking about going in the pool. <laughs> fool me once, fool me twice. Shame. When you're hiding things, might as well be lying. Ready? Is 
it seem like he likes it? He's trying cream of wheat for the first time. I can't tell if he likes it yet. some breakfast earlier and I am full and I'm stuffed. After I had finished my breakfast and stuff, I had went to the front of my house. One of my Trader Joe's plants that I had bought. I've had it for a while so I'm very very proud of myself for that. I've had it for a good amount of time before it started dying. <laughs> I decided to cut all the dead stuff off. Just give it a new chance of gr at growth without having it having it look ugly while I wait for it to grow out again. So I was cutting all the dead stuff off. I was just hanging out in the front, you know, thinking, getting some fresh air and stuff. So I'm about to take a shower and I'm taking off this makeup that I had wore yesterday. And I had slept in my makeup because I got super tired and didn't feel like ugh, taking it off before bed. I got so lazy, but I, I thought I did so good with my makeup yesterday. It turned out great. It, look, it looked really good. I liked it a lot. And then I liked my little hairstyle that I did. It wasn't much of a difference, but it that little difference really like changed the way like my makeup turned out and how like my face looked. Like it gave me this little cute upbeat look. It was really nice. I liked it. I just felt real real cute yesterday. Man, it's so hard to get like all the makeup off of your face, especially around your eyes. It's like the worst. And it looks crazy. <laughs> After I get out of the shower, we're gonna go to Dutch Bros and get some coffee. Of course, I'm tired. <laughs> but I also was trying to figure out if I need to go to the store before we come back home. And I was trying to think of like what I needed. I just ran out of like facial wipes, so I might, that's probably one of the things I need. I might be in luck. Oh, these are like, like Shea Moisture. They're all right, they're not the best. <laughs> they're decent, they're kind of like, they're kind of dry. They're not really like the best for like removing makeup in my opinion. Okay, I got as much as I can off of my face. So I'm probably gonna just wash it in the shower. <sighs> All right, let's take a shower. Can you ever get it right? How long will I let this? I'm outside. Wait a don't touch Stephanie and Maya, that ain't yours. Well, it's yours, but don't touch it. Alright guys, we just got back from Target. My filming has been all over the place. Sorry. But we got a whole bunch of goodies right in front of us. Um, Chris done did, done did something and took something out of the something. But anyways, so I'm gonna have Mr. Man over here. I got my sidekick. What's up, sidekick? Say what's up. He's kind of tired. He's yawning. You ready to try some snacks? We got a whole bunch of snacks, guys. Like, oh, grab that, son. Got a whole bunch. Just keeps on going. And we also got him a little snack cup. What should we try first, son? So these first ones we got Happy Baby Organics snackers um this one is in creamy spinach and carrots this one kind of smells like spinach it smells pretty good i always taste everything i give nehemiah even his food here eat the other half it kind of tastes like the crackers that we get him so they kind of look like this you guys a little foam cracker like that and so it's like it's x's and o's isn't that cute but yes, X's and O's. That's heckin' cute. <laughs> Moment of truth. Here, try this. Did it get it? It didn't even get in your mouth. What are you smacking on? This one is the creamy spinach and carrots, son. It's good, huh? Mum, 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 mum. Yay. So these are Nehemiah approved. And then these are the same kind of dill with the X's and O's for the organic snackers. But this one is tomato and basil. Kind of like spaghetti, I guess. Hey. Come on, son. 
You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Oh my goodness. Why you always gotta act up on camera, bro? Embarrassing me and stuff. I'm a good mother. <laughs> you okay? Okay. Hold on. Tomato and basil. It's like spaghetti. You like that? Oh, you didn't choke on that one. That's good. Okay, you also got, what did you else did you get? You got these organics. Happy Baby Yogi's. See this? And it's in strawberry flavor. What's wrong? Don't cry. Okay, wait, wait. I'll give you another one. Hold on. Jeez. Wait, can you want to try this one first? Purple carrot and blueberry. I know, I'm hurrying. One. Patience. Oh, it looks like cereal. Got it? Are you going to be able to eat this one? Don't choke on it. Don't scare me. Then we got these. Gain and grow puff bananas. You wanna try this one? These ones are smaller. You gotta be careful. They look like little stars. Here, try it. Ready? Is it good? Clean this. This is really cool, son. <laughs> oh, she likes it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's God's Day. Today, when I go into church, we decided to stay home and watch church online because our church service um, plays on YouTube. So we're going to watch it in the living room online. Um, I just Chris just finished making him a bottle, so we're probably going to chill in the living room for about an hour and a half and watch some church, y'all. <laughs> Okay, me and Nehemiah, let's do it together. You wanna do it together? Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Yeah? Say mama. Say mama. You guys, if I can if I can catch him. Say your mama? Oh my gosh! I like I'm trying to catch him on camera because he says it, but he doesn't say it on camera. Look at this guy. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself, Nehemiah. That makes me feel like we give him too much medicine. <laughs> medicine? <laughs> he's, he's teething, y'all. So he already has his two teeth at the bottom, but tell me why he has two new teeth coming in at the top. They're coming in fast. And I, can, I, can't, even, I can't even show you guys the teeth at the bottom. Let me see if, if I can catch it. Make him smile. Hey, you guys see it? Oh, damn it. No. Hold his hands. Okay, hold his hands. Okay. So those are the teeth at the bottom, but he has um like one and a half coming in at the top. I'm so excited. Yeah, he loves these yogis, like these little fruit snacks for babies. It like melts in their mouth. He loves these. So they look like this. They're just like this flat little round like circle. Look at him. No? Okay. It's hurting. Whenever he's teething, man, he's he's super, super clingy. That's how I know because for the past like August month, he's been so good. Like, I've been cleaning up more, been doing the things I need to do around the house more, and he's been chilling in his playpen, doing great. Ain't that right, near my yeah. So this is how I'm starting off my morning. 
I got mother's milk tea in here with some sea moss. I'm trying, y'all. Okay, let me go in the living room, hang out with my baby, and watch some church, y'all. I'm really excited. I've been waiting for Sunday to come around, and it's here, and I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is all the milk I got so far. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting so nervous, but remember I told you guys, I told you guys this. When you feel like it's going low, keep pumping and it will grow. <laughs> Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23, he said this. He said, for I pass on to you what I have some bread and he gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and he said, this is my body which is given for you in remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you that this... We just got out of church, out from our couch. <laughs> church was good though. Um, I really liked it. I think Chris liked it too, right? Yep. Yup, yup, yup. Sorry guys, I look crazy. Look at this, I didn't do my hair. But never mind the look. We are on our way to Dutch Bros. About to go get some coffee. And then I'm gonna have Chris stop at Safeway. We're going to Safeway to buy some ingredients for a pastry I wanna make. I saw on Pinterest this like um, recipe. I wanna get the ingredients so I can try to make it. And I'm gonna probably record it so you guys can enjoy me tempting this. <laughs> Woo, Lord, I look a hot mess. That's, all we're, that's the only place we're going, right? Cafe. All right, so. We're, we're, me and Chris are both trying new Dutch Bro drinks. It's like their fall drinks. He got the sweater weather. What is it? Sweater weather? Chai vanilla chai. So, yeah, sweater weather chai vanilla chai chai vanilla chai 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 chai. And then I got the caramel creme brulee freeze. It's really good. I'm glad I did it. Oh yeah. I definitely got the right one. Oh, do you like yours? Don't get sweater weather, y'all. I do not like this one. This, I'm trying Chris's. Oh no, this is not cozy sweater weather at all. This is like trench coat fake poking me in my mouth with a strong like cinnamon flavor. Well, I think actually, you know what? I think Chris probably does like this drink because it has cinnamon in it, right? Oh, you don't like this one? Oof. Yeah. Grab it. <laughs> I don't want this drink! Switch back. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh. I'm glad I did not get that cinnamon one. Because I was thinking about it too. It's a sweater one, alright? No. Do you want tenders or the actual chicken? Ignore the look, y'all. Come on, get used to it. Is Mariah's hair ever done? No. Does she still feel like she a queen? Yes. Do I still feel good? Yes. Do I still feel like I look good? Yes. Because I know when I do do my hair and I do snatch this face. <sighs> we coming for you. <laughs> But yes, okay, so change of plans. Almost finished my drink. Update on that. That drink lasted two seconds. <laughs> Am I sleeping? We are not gonna stay home. We are actually going to go to the Bay Area and hang out with Chris's family. We were trying to stay home. Nehemiah wasn't feeling good and he's been teething. And when he's teething, he don't really want to mess with anybody. I guess we'll go. One of his family members, Sanjana. Hi, girl. She watches my YouTube videos. <laughs> She's She came down from Canada. And when she comes down, even when we don't feel like it or even when, like, Nehemiah is not feeling well or, you know, we always try to come through for her because she's like, she's such a bright light. So positive and so happy. So it's like, she has good energy and good vibes. Quiet, I'm not too, talking too loud. I feel like he might hear me. Ooh, Chris is back with the food. You guys, I didn't even tell you guys what we're eating. I like to eat this um, food that be at like 
certain gas stations. It's what's it called? Crispy crunchy chicken. Yeah, crispy crunchy chicken. It's like at certain gas stations. I love it. I love their chicken. And then certain crispy crunchy chickens, they'll have they'll have shrimp. This one usually has it, but they don't have it today. But I love their chicken, and I love I love these. I love their potato wedges. So 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 good. Chris got the big bucket. There's a sweet and sour sauce for you. How do you take that? Where's the other sauce you gave me? Oh, sorry. You want to take the ranch? I'll keep the ranch instead. Another thing I like from um, this gas station restaurant. The gas station restaurant? Gas station restaurant. I love their blueberry muffins. They're so good, y'all. They're like muffin tops, to be honest. It's like a cookie muffin top. They're just so good. That's the sound of chicken success. Crispy fried chicken is the chicken for you and me. So are we not going to Safeway? <laughs> You're always like... When did that happen? How did that happen? What happened? We can always go to Safeway later. Y'all remember this. He said Safeway later. So if we don't end up making the recipe that I want to make, you know why. You have, to take, you have to take another shit? <laughs> you do, huh? Bro, we just got home. You don't need to take another shit, bro. <laughs> don't be acting. Wow. Take a shower? You gonna take a shit? Nope. I don't take a hundred shits a day. Okay, so put him in the um, bed upstairs. Come on. Let's go teamwork. Why, are you gonna shit? Make the dream work. I am, my legs hurt so bad. I know, why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> my camera's about to die. It's no good. It's no good. All right, I'm about to take a shower. You're welcome. Mama's about to take a shower. Family, get in this picture. You guys like how my makeup turned out? It looks cute, right? I pinned my little bang on the side so that it stays like this. And I just have my hair in a bun. I told you guys I've been loving this little little different hairstyle by adding the little pieces in the front. It really frames my face. I think it's cute. I'm about to pump real quick before we leave. And then we're out, guys. We're hitting the road. I'm actually getting to show this.
baby making body off. <laughs> then I got my water on deck. Tell me why earlier I was in the living room watching church and in the middle of my service I spilled my um, mother's milk tea on the couch. I'm gonna pump real quick while I talk to y'all. Oh shoot. Woo, I did so good. I didn't I didn't even sweat out my makeup or anything. I mean I'm hot right now, but I did pretty good. because it's uh, frozen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you see that? Be careful your earring. He got your he got your ear. I know, I know. Do you pull it? I'm just letting you know. He's like a let go. Where's my kiss? Where's my kiss? Are you getting this? Did you get that? Okay, here, I've got evidence of you. I still have on yesterday's makeup, even though I did take it most of it off with a makeup remover wipe, but most of my eye makeup still on my face, so I look like a vampire. <laughs> but right now I'm watching The Ultimatum, and I'm talking kind of low because my baby's sleeping upstairs in our room, so I didn't want to disturb him, but... He woke up really early, so it makes sense that he's taking an early nap. But yeah, I just had put him down like 30 minutes ago, so he's having a good nap. For right now, I'm watching the, the Ultimatum on Netflix. Drama. <laughs> and Chris is making me pancakes, so I'm excited. I look so scary. <laughs> Oh, that's a mess. 
stay. Oh. He marches to the sun. He marches to the Do you want to play hide and seek with me? Teddy bear. We'll count and the teddy bear will hide. Give me a rice and pancake. Three. Hey guys, so it is the next day. It is it is currently Monday. I really hope you guys can hear me because I have Nehemiah sound waves on again. Whenever we're in the car he goes to sleep once I put those once I put this music on, like the, the sound, like the static. <laughs> he loves it. I just hope you guys can hear me through it, but I'll find out. But yeah, um, we have went to Chris's uncle's house in the Bay Area. We visited some family. His aunt from Canada came down, which was really nice. Or I don't know if that's his aunt. That's his cousin, I think. Yeah. I think it's Nehemiah's aunt. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, she came down and um, Nehemiah's grandma was there. So we all just hung out. Nehemiah got some, some new clothes, some new gifts. Always, he's spoiled. And um, we had ate some fish. That fish was good, world. He made it from scratch. <laughs> it was so good. I loved it. It tastes so good. There's like little tiny little bones in the inside of the fish. So like when you eat that fish, you kind of have to be careful or you can get like stuck in the mouth. But other than that, it's real good, girl. Real soft and tender. <laughs> we got home around like 10.40, almost 11. So Nehemiah was out. He was out like a light. He was not having no care in the world. He was ready to go to bed. But that was good too because I was kind of exhausted because I was up early that day. I was up at like 5.36 I think in the morning with Nehemiah. It was a busy day yesterday but it was real fun. I love when he's sleeping. He's so cute. He sleeps so peacefully. <laughs> and then Nehemiah fell in his crib today. He fell real hard. He hit his head and I think he's going to have like a little bump on his forehead. So I think I'm going to slow down on leaving him in the crib with with those wooden borders because they're too hard for him. And if he, if he sl slides off or lets go of the, um, the, the rail around the crib, and he falls and he hits him he's gonna hit himself like he just did today and there's a little lump on his head i'll probably try to show you guys later but that made me sad <laughs> so i don't think i've updated you guys chris is going on a trip on thursday so today is monday so in three days chris is going on a trip to miami for a bachelor party with his friends he's gonna be gone for like four days i believe it's just gonna be me and little old me and my yeah for four days I've never been by myself with him, but at least for not for that long, but we'll be fine. <laughs> I'm his mother. <laughs> but yeah, that's coming up. I'm a little nervous because it's my first time doing it, but I'm his mom. I got this. I know I know what's best for him. I know how to take care of my son, so it's all good. It's just little nerves, but yeah, he's leaving me. <laughs> it's okay. We need a little break apart. We need time to miss each other, you know? That's happening. Up oh, here comes Chris. We, we got Dutch Boys again and I got the same drink as last time. It was just so good I had to get it again. They're they gonna say we always as um, Dutch Bros. Oh no, that's right. We're actually, we're on our way to, to um, one of our friend's house that we've been to before. Um, you guys met them. Um, the only thing is that we're, we're meeting the I'm well I'm meeting the groom of the little trip I was telling you guys about that Chris is going on in to Miami, right? I'm meeting the groom. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're like 20 minutes away. Huh? Oh, the oh, we're meeting the bride and the groom. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let's do that. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's hot like super hot Ugh. all right we are back home i just got finished cleaning up the kitchen tidying up the house a little bit i need to do my laundry i had started it but i never finished it kind of worked up a sweat doing that but we've been home for about like an hour to two hours we had fun we kind of stayed later than we were supposed to um we we're only supposed to stay for a couple hours and say hi and stuff but we kind of ended up staying basically the whole day but it wasn't too big of a deal um, i was just worried because i'm trying to pump more consistently but i mean it was still fine i feel myself having to pump again though i feel it coming down but we did end up finally finally going to safeway or no we didn't go to safeway we went to um save mart cheaper version than safeway <laughs> but we went there and we found a couple ingredients and then we found some other ingredients where else did we go target yeah we went to target first didn't find the, um some of the ingredients on the list so we went to say more after but here are the stuff we got maybe you'll get an idea of like what i'm making after i show you like some of the stuff i got so this has nothing to do with the recipe but i got some granola because i have yogurt but i didn't happen to get the the granola and i totally forgot so when i went to go eat some yogurt one morning i didn't have granola so i got some granola so i saw this one i think it's like a holiday special type of thing but this is honey crisp apple pie granola isn't that cool y'all that's heck of cool made with real apples that's gonna taste pretty cool i'm excited to taste that part of the dessert i got the original um pillsbury crescent rolls we got some apples some i think granny smith apples i hate red apples gotta have the green ones we got some light brown sugar mix a mango ground cinnamon we got ground allspice some unsalted butter some ground nutmeg and we also got some bananas if you guys know what i'm making before i say it comment down below i don't think any of y'all are gonna know though <laughs> this is the recipe that i got off of pinterest okay so it's called apple pie bites and they look like this doesn't that look so good so it's basically like a um pillsbury crescent roll unrolled a, a slice of apple apple pie mix or apple pie spice brown sugar you roll it back up and you put it in a pop in the oven it literally takes um 30 minutes they said to to prep and to bake so it's not too bad i'm excited but they look real good girl they look so 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 good i'm so excited so we're gonna do that but i'm not gonna do it right now i'm not gonna do it tonight because it's it's kind of it's not it's kind of late not too late but it's late it's 9 30 so i'm thinking that i'm gonna do it in the morning either in the morning or afternoon time but it's gonna be tomorrow so i'm super duper excited we'll wait till tomorrow but i'm real excited girl real excited <laughs> but let me get this in the refrigerator because i accidentally left all this like cold stuff out and started cleaning and totally forgot to put it in the refrigerator everybody say hi to baby daddy Sometimes you gotta put that ass and that foot in that ass and that ass and that foot in that ass. <laughs> Alright, so this is my granola container. I think I'm gonna use this one first. The apple crisp, honey crisp apple pie thing. I thought I heard Nehemiah, hold on. Hold on, I gotta check on my baby. I be, I be paranoid, I gotta make sure. Especially when he's sleeping. He's good. Look at my little babies. So cute. Okay, yes, like I was saying, I'm probably gonna put this in my container for easy access. Tastes pretty good. I think I'm gonna like it. All right, it's in the container. I also wanna refill my rice as well because we're getting low, getting a little low. Maybe I can find a jar for my um, light brown sugar as well. Do it that alone. I'ma get back when I do, don't call. 
All right, so I have this container that I found. I think it held cookies or something in it before, but I might just wipe it down with like a like a paper towel and some water, like dampened water on it, or a dampened paper towel basically. I might just wipe out the inside and pretty much that's gonna be it. everything away so everything's clean the kitchen's clean probably gonna chill for the rest of the night i don't want to stay up too late because i am pretty tired and nehemiah will be up soon probably just gonna pump again and just chill for a little bit and then go to bed try to like wind down i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>